So here we have a child with precocious puberty and uncontrollable laughing that is gelastic seizures. So the classical clinical history is suggestive of the diagnosis of hypothalamic or tubercinarium hematoma. So let us see the imaging findings. First of all, where is the tubercinarium? So this is the region of the hypothalamus. If we have a look at the zoomed image, so that's the mammillary body. This is the pituitary gland. This white thing here is the posterior pituitary. So this becomes the pituitary or the infundibular stalk. So between this infundibular stalk and the mammillary body is this region of tuber cinerium of the hypothalamus. So this is where the hematoma occurs. A hematoma is a disorganized tissue in that region. So that is what we see here, a lesion in the region of tuber cinerium. Compared here, normal, there is nothing in the region of tuber cinerium. Here we see a well-defined mass in the tuber cinerium. Since it is a hematoma, that is disorganized gray matter, so it will have features similar to gray matter. So it will be iso-intense to gray matter. Now since it is gray matter and it is not a tumor, it will not enhance. So intense enhancement is incorrect. It does not show calcification. Plus, being a hematoma, it does not grow with age, though the symptomatology may increase. So, the incorrect statement here is, it shows intense enhancement. So, let us have a quick review of hypothalamic or tubercinarium hematoma. So, it's a benign, non-neoplastic heterotopia, which occurs in the region of hypothalamus in tubercinarium. Remember that it is associated with pellister hall syndrome. And classically, it presents with gelastic seizures and precocious puberty. Since it is composed of gray matter, it will have imaging appearance similar to the cortex, that is the gray matter. That is why it will not enhance and it does not grow, plus it does not show calcification.